hi all so welcome to this streamlit session in this video we will see how can take input from user suppose uh, you want to build something maybe a dashboard in dashboard you want to take some input from a uh, user like maybe you want to take input in terms of text or maybe date or maybe name something string so how can we do this uh, in streamlit let's try to see this so let me start one file here maybe input in streamlit uh, dot py so now we created that file let's see suppose i want to take a text input so how can we do this let me write first let's import the streamlit so import streamlit as st suppose i want to take many maybe name okay so write st dot uh, a text underscore input right and now suppose i want to take name so let's save it and now let's run it so streamlit run py file so that py file is input in streamlit let me hit it. See this. We got this right here. You can see localhost default port 8501, and here you can see name. So I can give some name. Suppose I want to name, I can give a name Rohit. So here you can see we are able to see. So and it will store it names. If you want to see, just let's do this one thing st dot right and keep this variable name save it now see uh suppose yeah here you can see we are giving ruin and we're able to find ruin suppose i want to change this name maybe i want to give another name maybe Preeti. so see this hit the enter now you can see we're able to find here Preeti. right so we can uh, give any name and it will work right Let's suppose you want to give some number, uh, want to take input from um, from user, maybe in terms of number. So how can would you do this? Suppose I am taking age. Right, st dot. Here we want to take number. So write number input. And suppose you am writing age. And then let's write that also. See, let's try to do one thing. We will. Uh, do one thing write name and age both okay now do let's save it see this here you can say we are giving name prithi and maybe i'm giving age 29 see this name is prithi age is 29 right so both are we are able to show. see we can increase from here also and we can decrease also but anyway we want to take only input maybe what you have anything we want to take right Suppose I want to take date, maybe. So let's take a date also. So let's give date and then uh, write st dot uh, dot date underscore input this one and maybe write any date. Suppose you want to give the meeting data any date. Let's let's say it. Even you want to print that also. So right here st dot right okay uh let me go like this sorry yeah save it let's go there yeah give date suppose you want to keep the maybe uh 23 and maybe 23 march 10 march so let's keep this see this 23 10 march right and we are able to print all three name is and date so in this way we are able to take input on uh, string numbers and date suppose you want to take input uh, a file okay you want to upload a file from user okay how can we do this that is also very simple let's do it suppose i'm writing name file okay st dot file uploader this is right now let's write select a file save it here you can see you can give any name maybe i want to give name rohit 
just keep the name age maybe i want to keep 22 just take a date i want to take maybe um, april 4th april 23 and file i want to take maybe i want to take this file see this so i'm able to upload this file name and everything suppose you want to read that file also so let's read it how can we read it first let's see whether this file is none or if this is someone is uploaded this file then we can write if file is not none right so it means someone is already uploaded this file now let's read it so a is equal to file dot get value right and then let's print this value so st dot write a now let's save it let's go there and uh, let's do again see this is rohi there let's draw this again this content file here you can see yeah in that file i write <coughs> i want to be data scientist if you check this file let me show that file see this file this content file uh, i write i wrote why i want to be data scientist and if you see here we got this so in this video we covered how can we you know take input from user like text name age date and all okay thank you so much for watching this